Hey, hey guys. So today I'm gonna to show you really quickly how easy it is to go ahead and use one of our fun new da digital downloads from Chalk Couture. I'm gonna use the More Peppermint, please, and wait till you see how easy this is. This is gonna be using Cricut Design Space, so go to your design space, go to New Project, um, and all we're gonna do is once we get to New Project, we're gonna go down to Upload. From Upload, we will go to Upload Image, we're going to go in, browse our files. We will find wherever you have it saved. Um, I know I have it saved as more peppermint, please. And you're going to look for your SVG. So I have my SVG of more peppermint, please saved. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. As you can see, here is what it looks like. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to take that other one out for the image. And I'm going to add peppermint into my tag. And I'm going to separate it and say more, whoops, more peppermint. Oops. So I know that it's this name. And then we're going to hit upload. And once we get here, you're going to see that it is right there, ready for you to go ahead and use. Make sure you have it selected by having the green uh, box around there. And then hit add to canvas. Once you have it added to Canvas, there it is. You'll be able to see that it is on your actual, um, I guess, your digital mat here. Um, and you don't even have to ungroup it. You don't have to really do anything. Um, once you go to make it, um, it will go ahead and put it on where it saves the most space possible. Now, from this point, you're going to want to make sure that you have your Cricut turned on. You want to make sure that you have your correct blade in. Um, you want to make sure that if you are using, I'm going to use chalk suede, our 12 by 12 chalk suede for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. There's no need for me to mirror this because I'm not using vinyl today, but I'm going to go ahead, or HTV, I should say, um, it's not heat transfer vinyl. Um, my maker is connected. For using um, the chalk suede cardstock, the best material that I would say we could get, um, say that it's closest to is heavy cardstock. Um, it's, it feels like over 150 pound cardstock, I would say. So if you say heavy cardstock, um, or if you just look up cardstock, sometimes you just have to look it up this way. I don't know why sometimes I have a hard time finding it. Um, just look up cardstock, hit enter. Um, you want to look up the heart of the heavy cardstock. So even a hundred pounds, just look for where it says a hundred pound cardstock. You want to click on that. Um, and if I can favor, I would love to bookmark that. So if you hit that little, um, little flag there, that should bookmark it for next time. Um, so that way you have it. So now everything is, is set to use heavy cardstock. Um, you can make sure that everything is loaded. Um, and from this point, you would want to make sure you load your mat. So you can stay tuned for um, the actual video part here. So hold one second. We're going to go to um, actual video and not shared screen. Okay, guys, I now have it set into my machine. You're going to see up here, it's telling me to go ahead and hit go. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll likely speed this little process up. Um, so sometimes with the heavy cardstock, you may have to do a double cut, and that's what I should have done here, um, because it is it is a real heavy one. But you might also just be able to push it through. So see how it goes all the way through. It's just sometimes along the edge, it won't. But um, I am okay with how this does still pop out. It's it's truly okay with me um, because. I'm going to use it for something completely separate. And you can totally just, um, you can totally just fuss, like you can, I'm not worried about it, guys. You can fussy cut this. Um, what I would suggest is you can do a double cut. Just send it through to be cut two times. If you don't remove it and you just send it through again on the mat, it'll, it'll cut exactly where it's meant to be. Um, It'll cut exactly where it's supposed to be. So that is, sorry guys. It's be, you know it's so crazy. It's this this chalk suede. Sometimes it will really do that. It's kind of crazy. So hold on. It's like I notice it's like only certain areas. Like I feel like when it's closer to the um, the edge, it does that. So let me go ahead and just get a little bit here, and I'll just go ahead and start. 
See, if I just take my scissors along this or my transfer trimmers, it just totally, like you don't even have to double cut it. Look, it just pops it right on out. See that? It's okay. But if you want, you can set this. So just learn from me. You can set it to do that. Or if you have the thick knife, the knife blade, um, you can go ahead and um, set it as chipboard. That's actually probably what I would cut this as. Just do it as chipboard. I'm trying to remember when I cut out, I cut out a bunny before. Um, a Cottontail Farm, the, I think it was Cottontail Market Bunny. And I, rem I can't remember what I cut it as. I thought I cut it as this, but maybe I did not. Or maybe I did remember and I cut it, I double cut it. I may have just forgotten that that's what I had to do. It's okay. Sorry, I'm also dealing with, you know, an 18-year-old. <laughs> Cuts me off every other second. So, you know, there's that. I can't remember what I'm doing. Um, so... Let's see. That's going to work. It's fine. I'm not worried because I'm going to obviously mount this onto something. Okay. This is totally fine. Okay. Okay. So let's get the mat covered up. Okay. Let's get this mat covered and put it over here. And then we'll save these other pieces for something else. Okay, this is something different. Now, um, I was also just wanting you to see, if you did not want to cut this, if you love this transfer though, guys, the simple shape will work just as well on this. You don't have to worry. You can use just the simple shape. Um, but let's go ahead and let's do this. Now, when working with our chalk suede, guys, you want to wax our chalk suede. Please, please, please wax the chalk suede before you use it um, with our transfers because it will stick like crazy. Also, um, I have been, what is the name of this one called? I know this, More Peppermint Please. I just did this, right? Um, I have been using um, stickers on the back of my transfers for writing what the name is. Um, I've been using labels because um, it's it, it's the way the uh, carrier sheets are now. They do, it just if we use the sharpies, it just comes right off. It's super weird. Uh, so I noticed that I, when I noticed that, I decided to just start using. Um, uh, a, a label and a pen and it works perfectly now so just so you guys know that's a little tip for you if you haven't didn't see my video the other day with the gingerbread baking co now you know okay all right so let's get that wax and let's wax our chalk suede and we will oh guys i'm just realizing is it super dark And you are not going to heat this up. Don't heat it. Just wax it. All right. This will make for the cutest little project yet. Can you see? Yep, okay, I got all that area waxed. Okay, let's go ahead and let's make this project now. It's gonna be super cute and super fun. Are we ready? I love Christmas in July, you guys. This is such a fun project. Now, also with the chalk suite, you wanna make sure you fuzz the transfer up. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Okay, get it fuzzed. I'm gonna fuzz it up well. All right, now I'm gonna try my best to get this all lined up perfectly. And because you can see, oh my gosh, I think I, oh, I moved it right at the end. I was gonna say, and because you can see through with our new transfers, um, it really is so, stay there. 
Guys, see? Look how nice you can line that up. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. That is going to be a great peppermint. I'm excited. And I'm going to use our brand new cherry. Okay. I'm going to use this cherry chalk paste. Look, I got a ton on the lid. I totally did not mean to do that. You do not need a lot of chalk paste, you guys. A little chalk paste goes a very long way. So we are going to do it just like this. Just like so. Hopefully I didn't have any bubbles in this because I did stick it down really quickly. Okay. Go ahead and peel it up. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at that peppermint. Isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it. All right, now let's get um, the little saying. More peppermint, please. But I guess we should dry it first so that way I don't mess it up because, you know, you guys, you know I'm pretty good at, like, touching things and not meaning to and then messing it up. Now, once you purchase the digital file from my online store, the digital files will stay under your account. When you log in, you're gonna go. To, you'll you'll go under the little person um, on your computer, and you'll see your account. And you'll see there'll be a um, there's a bunch of um, categories, I guess you could say, in the your account area. And you'll see the digital. You'll see digital files. Okay, that's where you'll find it housed. And then you just save it on your computer where you use it for your, whether it's in Design Space or Silhouette Studio. I wish I still had a Silhouette to be able to show you guys. I can show you how to at least upload it into Silhouette Studio. I just can't show you the cutting part. Um, gosh, guys, that is a perfect peppermint. Look at that. Do you re recall if you watched me um, over Christmas time, I made a gingerbread house. And I had made all these different, I had got ordered all of these different peppermints to put on my um, back deck and my little um, gazebo thingy on my porch. I wish this was out then because this would have been super stinking cute. Look at that. All right, let's do the little saying next. More peppermint, please. I think we'll do this in cherry. Ouch, we'll do this in cherry as well. What do we think? I think we should. With the white backer, I think it'll be so cute. Remember, we want to make sure it's fuzzed up real well. And you can see just how perfect this is going to fit on here because we can see right through now. Okay. I am super happy with that placement. Look, I can see. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I lied. Now I'm happy with it. Look at that. That's great. Should we do um, candy apple in another color? Let's see. Actually, no, let's just do all, I'm sorry, cherry I meant, not candy apple. Let's do all cherry. Why not? We started with cherry. Let's finish with cherry. Okay, let's see how this turned out now. So cute. Again, no sticking. It's, it just went on perfectly, you guys. It is perfect. Let's go ahead and let's get it dried before I jack it up. <laughs> and we'll get the lid on. Oh, it's so cute. Now 
Now I have little baggies that I'm going to use to wrap up our little peppermint to make it look like it actually is a peppermint. I did do this trick. I taught you guys um, at Christmas time when I made fake ones. Um, let me show you what we're going to do. Uh, what did I do with them? If I were bags, we're all right. So got a little baggie here. And I am happy to link where I got to get these from. Look, it's perfect. So what I'll do is I'll seal it. Actually, we don't even have to seal it because <clears throat> and you know what? If you guys don't want to have a baggie, what you can do is get the cellophane rolls from the Dollar Tree. That'll work just as well too. And um, you can use rubber bands. Um, we can tie cute string around these. This is exactly what I did the holiday time. Just do a little bit and a little bit. And then we'll push it down. So that way we can do the opposite side, of course. And we'll do, like I said, we'll put some cute string to hide the rubber band because you don't want to see the rubber band. You'd rather see something much cuter, I'm sure. And you can trim up your edges so that they're both the same, right? Because mine's a little longer here. No biggie. There we go. See there versus here. Okay. And what we'll do is get cute ribbon. There it goes, I see it. Get my ribbon, hold on. So that way we can cover up the rubber bands. Right? We don't want the rubber band to show. Let's do cute little ribbon around it. This will be precious, right? Sorry guys, I knocked into the camera. Okay, so there's that one. And here's this end. Stay. Okay, there you go. Got the little rubber band covered up. And we'll trim up our um, our, uh, what is this called? Ribbon, too. And then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll take some foam squares, which are here. And we'll pop this up because how cute is this going to be? So see, it didn't matter if you had to like do a little bit of fussy cutting. If it didn't cut all the way through, you can, that was like I said, my mistake. I forgot that I needed to do a double cut of it. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal, guys. Oof, where'd it go? One, two. Okay. 
try to get this as flat as I can here because I want this to be at the bottom just like this there we go and we're gonna trim that a little bit because it's a little longer on this end than it is on that end and same here oh my gosh this is my things are not cutting and this one okay. and there it is ta-da i'm finished what do you think I think it turned out super cute. I might add actually even some additional ribbons just to make it even more fun and festive. But I hope you like it. More Christmas in July projects will be coming soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.